Hello, queens, and welcome to another stream of Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. I am Gina, aka the Gina Chew. How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing well. I'm excited to jump back into this game, solve some more puzzles, and see if we can figure out um, how well I remember these the second time around. We could talk about the puzzles and about what uh, we thought of them. I didn't really do much of a retrospective uh, or, like, you know, a kind of introspective is probably the correct word like more introspective thoughts on the last puzzle so i guess we'll start with that as i start up the game so the last time the last uh room we were in was room number four which was that was the first door we went in which was the hallways of um cabin rooms and we had two rooms that were across the hall from each other that were mirror images of each other and we had to kind of swap pieces back and forth within the rooms to solve puzzles which um so my initial thoughts on that are that it's a pretty damn good initial puzzle to start someone on these kind of games with um you know it's a pretty simple concept of okay the rooms are mirrored i can do something in one room or get something in one room that could affect stuff in the other if i can open up a drawer over here i could open up a drawer over there you know um you know even the thing with like the tiles like okay i could see you know a hole in the in the uh in the shower curtain over here so if i can't pull it out over here i should go to the same place in the other room um, that is a pretty good beginner puzzle. Um, I'm happy with it anyway. Um, and I think it's a pretty decent puzzle. It's not the most exciting puzzle in the world. Um, and again, and this is probably going to be a criticism you're going to see from me a lot, especially in this game, is this first entry in the series has a bad habit of... Um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, my brain just kind of gave out. It has a bad habit of interrupting the puzzle solving with, like, exposition or storytellings or pieces of information that are going to be relevant um, later on. Um, and that happened a couple times here. We had um, June interrupt us with the story of the Titanic. We had uh, Lotus interrupt us with the story of... Uh, you know, this picture and morphogenetic fields, both of those conversations are important. Lotus is more so than the one that June told us. The Titanic thing is kind of just more of a hint to what's going on in the game. The morphogenetic field thing is very important to the entirety of the series. So it's important information. I just wish that it was something like you get into the room and then maybe it would tell that story and then when you finish solving the puzzle... It would give you another exposition. I don't like that I'm in the middle of puzzle solving and it hits me with the exposition because for personally, for me, when I'm solving puzzles, I like to concentrate on what I'm doing and I kind of get in the zone and it kind of breaks me out of that zone. You know what I mean? So that's my thought on the puzzle. Not the most exciting one and I feel kind of weird faulting it for those breaks in the puzzle because it's kind of... Uh, a systemic problem throughout this entire game. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Let's go open this door. Here we go. It unlocked! Good job, Junpei. Now we can get the fuck out of here. Let's go. We escaped! A little anticlimactic because we escaped last stream, but we found it! It being the way out. <laughs> We found it. <laughs> oh, another hallway. Oh, indeed. Come on, open. Oh, another important thing that you're gonna see is also that um, and I believe whether you go in a room, uh, room, uh, the room door four or door five in the beginning, um, you're going to find a map of the deck, which is also important. So, um, I like that they do that because it ensures that you get it, and you could you also saw that I was not allowed to leave the first cabin room that we were in until I found everything irrelevant, including that ship map. So there's no way that you can leave without it. Which, that's also a cool thing for the puzzle as well, too, is that you're not allowed to leave the initial room you walk into until you find everything. And then you can go back and forth between the rooms. It's not going to open because you rattled it, you know. 
Damn it! Look over here! Elevators. And the buttons? Of course they don't work. Of course. The power must be out here too. Just like by the staircase. That leaves this door. Well, looks like we don't have any choice. Yeah. Sure does. Well then, let's open it. All right. Here I go. This is that's another uh oh. oh. So it's a kitchen. Oh. Okay. Give me a second. Okay, so first of all, another thing you're going to know has happened in this game a lot. Um is the when somebody goes to open a door, Jupe is always like, "Okay, I'm going to open it. Are you ready?" It gets ridiculous. But um this is one of the more confusing and annoying rooms in the game. Let's see if it confuses me as much the second time around. Um because it involves a lot of moving around of um of m numbers and math. And while I do understand a lot of basic mathematics very easily, when you get into some of the crazier, you know, parts of mathematics or, you know, different ciphers or like this number equals this number, um, or specifically we're getting into things like different number bases, like we in America run on a base 10 number system, you know, that stuff gets really confusing to me and we're about to be smacked in the face with it, if I remember correctly. So I also really feel like I need to get something to write on like a notebook do i have a notebook oh my gosh oh holy shit oh wow well this is an old notebook i'm sorry i'm this is so funny that i did not expect this to happen on stream this is an old notebook that i bought to write story ideas in and sure enough i have a bunch of story ideas in here well what the fuck wow I'm gonna have to look through that later. Anyway, um, it is mostly empty. It, um, this is a really old one, but you can see there's colors um, on the edges for different areas. So um, I guess I'll just take this red area because it doesn't look like there's anything written on the red pages. And uh, we'll just start making notes from there, I suppose. Just because uh, this number stuff's gonna get kind of confusing. Hey, Epitaph, what's up? The only thing you remember for the series is that it gets really convoluted later. Yes. Yes, it does. It gets very traditional Japanese anime storyline convoluted later. It does indeed. How are you, Epitaph? How is everything? Uh, it's been a while since I've gotten to speak with you, but I hope everything is going super well with you. What were you expecting? Isn't it obvious? The exit. I was hoping this would be the way out of here. Hello, Mr. Opal Phoenix. So far, you're doing good. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> you really think it'd be that easy? Yeah, yeah, I know. Still. If we can just get through this door, we should come out on the other side of that grate we saw earlier. Hmm. But don't we need a key for that? <sighs> no good. Sorry, I guess it wasn't very constructive. So we're now looking Anyway, uh, let's take a look. Alright, here's the hey. map. College starts up next Monday. Alrighty. Well, best of luck with that. I know that you work really hard on your schooling, so I know that you'll do great, Queen. What's that? Huh? Oh yeah, uh, I guess I forgot to tell oh, you. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you this very important piece I of information this a I found. Ago. It's a map of the B-Deck. Let me see that. I knew it. See? Look. Yes, yes. Hold your horses. I really like the voice acting in this game, by the way. What did in you the figure whole out? Series. This is handy. And I think I mentioned this during the first stream where we started revisiting this game, but um, the original version of this game was on the DS, and it was not voice acted. They took the voice actors that did the second and third games and brought them back to voice the first game um, so that they could release all three of them fully voiced on Steam. See? We came in here. Now if we go out there, then we'll be on the other side of the grate. 
Yes. How about that? She's right. We can get out through there. Yeah, it's amazing. It's like she knows how there to read a map. Here, you can have it back. Thanks. There's a card reader on the right side of the door. Yes, there and is. That means the key card is somewhere in here, right? That seems the most likely. All right, we know what we need to do then. Let's get moving. First off, I say we split up and look for clues. Okay. So this doesn't happen too often in this game, I remember, where you jump straight from one es one escape room to another. Usually there's some kind of big plot thing that happens in between. Um, so here we are. So here's the kitchen. So um, this is where we came in, if I remember correctly. Um, this is the room out. This is a freezer. We have uh, the stove over here. We have... Um, a bunch of plates and stuff, and uh, I'm about to want to smack myself. What's up, Anthony? He's screaming my name over and over again. Seek a way out. Thank you. <laughs> a voucher. It says appetizer 9, meat dish 10, soup 8, seafood dish F. Okay, let's write this down. Now this is part of the whole base 10 thing that I never understood. And I'm sure Anthony will laugh at me because he definitely understood it. And tried to explain it to me several times while I watched him play through this. And uh, I still didn't understand it. Yes, he is doing the call for Metal Gear. Snake! 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 Yes, those places are serving meat. You're really ignorant, aren't you? Wow. Fifteen of these plates. They're for seafood. Okay, so that means that F equals fifteen. Because... Because 10 would be A in base 15? They look just like any other plate from the 99 cents. So if you ever take a lady out to dinner, you're going to embarrass yourself. Yeah, okay. I feel sorry for June. Oh, I feel sorry for June is something that everyone feels at some point during this series. Trust me. <laughs> Yeah, Snake is fine, as in, like, Snake from this game, as in, like, the blind dude. The lady doth protest too much, we think, so you are not terribly subtle. Those nine plates look pretty expensive. Those must be for appetizers. The plates for appetizers. Okay, there we go. Excuse me, but there's, there's ten of them, so that's for the meat. So there's... Okay. <laughs> There's a voucher at the end of the counter. This voucher doesn't match the number of plates on the table. It says appetizer 9, meat dish 10, soup A, seafood dish F on the voucher. And the plates at the table are 9 appetizers, 16 meat, 10 soup. Right. So there's 16 of the meat, but there shouldn't be. Maybe they're using the hex. Oh, okay, here we go. Hexadecimal is a thing I will never understand. It goes 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, 10, 11. See, I don't. See, like, I'm, I'm done. You're familiar with base? Yeah, base 10 is what we use. A equals 10, B equals 11, C equals 12, D equals 13, E equals 14, F is right. See, I don't understand it at all. I know it's very simple, and so am I, and I can't understand it no matter what I do. So you just fit A through F in between 9 and 10, which there's no rhyme or reason behind it. 10 equals 16, which is why there's 16 meat plates even when it says 10. 
because they're working in base 10. Right, each digit is 16 characters, 0 through F. It's 1 through 9, and then A through F. And then 10. 10 to 16 because 10 is the wrapping of digits, correct. I know it's not strange, but you can just think of it as just six letters added on to the normal system after nine, correct, that's what I just said. Right, A equals 10, B equals 11, C equals 12, right, and then F is 15, and then once you wrap back to 10, that's 16. Correct, see I understand that. I don't get it at all. We're gonna see if I can if I can get it this time. This pot looks like it's made out of silver. I've been drinking tea from that pot would be really yummy. Spending a day off. All right, put it back in your pants, dude. Will that ever happen for me? Oh, nothing. We don't really need help, so we should be moving on. Well, there's something. Un oh no, that's just okay. I, I thought that was like a piece of paper underneath it. I believe that is just yeah. But this is supposed- this along with the plates and that conversation is supposed to be your clue that we're working in base 10. So the key card, if I remember correctly, is in here. Um, this is a very hot stove with which we need to heat something up with. I think a piece of meat, yeah. Base 16. Why is it base 16? Because 10 wraps around to 16? A trash can. No, that's just where my stream is being streamed from. That's- there's not that there's nothing in there, that's rather insulting. Because there are 16 digits. Zero through F. When did zero get involved? Well, zero's always been involved, but... There's a rolling pin in a colander here, nothing useful. See, I- I don't know why I can't. I can't. I think it's still got water in it. There's a couple plates here, but I don't think they're gonna help us much. Well, we have water. Okay, here's a whetstone. I remember the whetstone oh. being important. Whetstones are for sharpening blades, in case you are not aware of what a whetstone is. Ten equals sixteen. Times one plus zero. That's so stupid. On base 16, 10 just equals 16. What are you doing adding more to it? You're making it more complicated than it needs to be. All we've got here is a pot and a frying pan. Oh, and a pressure cooker. I guess we could use some of those as weapons. What kind of an idiot are you? You gotta run around holding that thing while looking for the dead. Hey man, it was just a joke. Why so serious? Oh my lord. It's only a partition, there's nothing else. Alright, what about these spices? Uh, that's the door that we gotta get out of. That's the door we came through. It's not locked, right, but there's no reason for us to go... Right, to go back in there. It's a lot of notes. They've got a bunch of stuff written on them, but it doesn't look like a code or anything like that. Now for the digital root of F F F F F A A A C C's. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You asked for it! You asked for it! Oh, hold on, we're in the middle of a conversation. It won't let me do it. Where's my calculator? Okay, hold on. F is 15 because 10 is 16, right? So you've got. Hold on. One, two, two, three. You've got five X, right? So that's 75, okay? Hold on. We're doing this and you're gonna regret it. Um, A, 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 so A is 10. So that's 40. So that's 105, uh, no, 115. And then you've got six C's, which C would be, see A is 10, so that would be 12. Okay, so 72, 
plus 115 is 187. And now to not be a cheater, so that's 9 plus 7 is 16 plus 1 is 7. So the digital root of that would be 7. You could suck my butt. <laughs> See, but like, I understand repeating base, but 10 is not a repeating base. If it ended with F and then went to zero, that would be repeating. 10, you can't in introduce the number 10 for the first time in a base 16 and say it's wrapping around. It's not. Hexadecimal? Oh, I don't know. What do you mean hexadecimal root? How do you even find a hexadecimal root? Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, I see what you mean. Well, I found the digital root. And seven in hexadecimal is seven. I don't know. Okay, so this is another door. And if I remember correctly, we need something to open it. There's a bolt. Yeah, the bolt is rusty. Right. Will this even open? We won't know till we try. Let's give it a shot. No. B plus B equals F. But B is 11. <laughs> Welcome to the street where two people with nothing better to do drive Gina to insanity. You're not going to drive me to insanity. Okay, right. Okay, so this is the cheese room, as I like to call it. There's milk in here. Milk in an iron battle. Treasure by the bus is probably really old. Yeah, I would not want to open that up. That would be disgusting. B plus B. No. Okay. There's something behind that cheese. This is Anthony's dream, by the way. It's just rows and rows of cheese. Judah and I need to look behind you. Yes. It's probably oil. Yes! We're gonna lube up, baby! And there's a knife here, if I remember correctly, that we need to s sharpen with the headstone. Hey! A rusty knife? I don't think we'll be able to use it while it's like this. It's futile. Futile? You know, a waste. Useless. Pointless. Here we go again. Oh. Um, uh, any particular reason you wanted to bring that up? Oh, no reason, really. I was just thinking about futility. Huh? Why were you thinking about futility? Well, it has something to do with the Titanic. The Titanic? Again, with the Titanic! Yep. Have you ever heard yes! of the story <laughs> that the <laughs> <Titanic> <laughs> was predicted? Don't worry, the Rees will come when you watch me try to figure out base 16 or hexadecimal, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, have you ever heard this one? Yes, I have. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. There was a novel that had a bunch of stuff in it that described the sinking of the Titanic before it actually sank. Yeah, that's the one. The title of the novel is Futility. It was written 14 years before the Titanic sank. But... I know, I know. I mean, I didn't know the name of the book, but the story was the same, right? It was just like what happened on the Titanic? Yeah. Well, I heard it was all a hoax. A hoax? I heard that the stuff that matched up to the Titanic so well was actually added after it sank. Apparently, really? the only thing that was the same originally was that a boat ran into an iceberg and sank. But the novel was published in 1898, 14 years before the accident. Like I said, that was the first print of the book. 14 years later, the author heard about what happened to the Titanic. He figured that was his chance, you know? He just went back and changed some stuff in his novel, so that it matched the Titanic exactly. Really? Really. There's no such thing as premonitions or any of that stuff. Oh, I didn't want but, to make her but, sad. But, I mean, I don't really care, because spoilers, we're not going for a good ending here. That wasn't the only book that predicted the Titanic sinking. It, it wasn't? Yep. There were two other similar stories written by a man named William Thomas Stead. Both of them before the accident. It had to be oil or absinthe. Yeah, if only one it was in absinthe. One in 1886 and one in 1892. Stead wrote two stories that had striking similarities to the Titanic disaster. In one, 
two ships collided, many of the passengers died because there weren't enough lifeboats. In the other, the ship collided with an iceberg and sank. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I'll give you that it seems a little weird, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't too uncommon for ships to hit icebergs back in the day, or even other ships. Well, I shouldn't right. be common. I knew you'd say that. Hmm? But what if Stead had some sort of special powers? Everything is special powers specific. with you. What if he had the ability to do automatic writing? What? Uh, automatic writing? Wait, are you... Are you talking about when someone's possessed by a spirit and then they, they write a bunch of stuff without knowing what they're writing? That, with that, that would be the definition of automatic yes. writing, yes. What do you mean, yes? That stuff's a load of bull. But Jumpy... You said you believe no in No such curses. thing as predictions of future telling. There's no such thing in this series yet. Um, I would say that there's never anything like that in this series on the technicality. Come on, that's totally different. Okay, let's say, hypothetically, that automatic writing isn't a total load. These guys still couldn't have predicted the sinking of the Titanic. When this Stead dude wrote his thing, nobody had died on the Titanic yet. So if automatic writing is about being possessed by dead people, who the hell possessed him so he could write that stuff? That's not it. What's not it? Stead wasn't possessed by a spirit. He was doing the possessing. Oh. Hmm. What are you smoking? William Thomas Stead was a passenger on the Titanic. He just wrote down what he saw with his own eyes 20 years before it happened. Um, well, uh... <laughs> well, uh, why, why don't we talk about this some other time, okay? You think? We're in the middle of huh? trying to escape a room! Right, let's get back to it. Alright, so we're gonna combine this with the, uh, what stone? Sharper by the second. Okay, and now we have this very handy dandy sharp knife. Which I believe we have to use later on. Okay. So now we should be able to use oil to open this, and this uh kind of gets a little like pimp my ride, like yo dog. I heard you like escape rooms. <laughs> Well, there's rest in place in one bunch. Of course! Maybe if I put some oil on it. Just a little bit of oil and... Well, you little son of a bitch. You did it, Jumpy. You're so smart. Oh, yeah. It's cold in here. What is this place? Are you blind? It's a freezer. Oh, no way. That's way too cold for me. I'll freeze solid in seconds. Sorry, but I'm afraid I'll have to pass on this one. I'm going to leave the rest to you. Oh, whoa. It's really cold in here. Hey, you don't need to be in here. You had a fever just a little bit ago. You should stay outside. We got this. No, I'm fine. My fever's gone now. But... Yeah, her fever's gone now. The fever's... Mm -hmm. Fever's gone now. Huh? No! Why did it suddenly close? Ah! The knob's frozen! But why? Yo, dog, I heard you like escape rooms. Looks like the pipe next to it broke and. Hey! Lotus! You're out there, right? Open the door! What do you want? What's going on? The door won't open! Try opening it from that side, please! Oh, fine. If you say so, hold on. It's no use. It won't budge. You've got more people in there. You figure it out. Thank you, Lois. <laughs> oh. Uh, God damn it. Anyway, uh, let, let, let's find a way out. If we don't get moving, we're, we're going to be permanent residents. Two heads are b better than none. I I'm sure we'll we'll figure something out. Yeah, you're right. Let's just take a good 
look around this room, okay? You're not face if you dress like a sensible human being, Madam Stripper. No, she's dressed. Look, she's she's got layers on. She's got a scarf. This motherfucker. <laughs> right. There's some frozen meat up there. Looks like pork. It looks like a tag or something. Yes, the chunk of pork with a tag in it. Mm -hmm. That is important. And of course, there is important stuff in here. Here is some dry ice. Dry ice is just frozen carbon dioxide, right? Yes. Yeah, it, it is. I wonder how warm it has to get for it to, to turn back into gas again. Hell if I know. How is that going to help us anyway? Oh, well. I figured we might be able to use it to get out of here. Carbon dioxide sublimation point is negative 109 degrees. This is stuff that we just randomly know. Any warmer than that, and it'll turn into gas. Any lower, and it becomes a solid. Oh, how do you know that? <laughs> Despite my looks, I am the clean... Oh, <laughs> the queen of random knowledge. Looks bad to mess up when you're showing off. Oh, you're so cold, your mouth's going You're referring going to the one actually dressed like the stripper. Yeah, yeah that's right. You're just doing that on purpose, aren't you? Come on, guys. Don't you think that's kind of weird? I wonder why it doesn't turn into a liquid first. Um... It did seem rather oh, odd. It is kind of weird. But it can turn into a liquid. Oh, carbon dioxide turns to liquid if you put it under high enough pressure. But at one atmosphere, normal air pressure... It won't turn into a liquid, right? Oh, that's right. Instead of melting, it'll do what's called sublimating and change immediately from a solid state to a gaseous one. Oh, 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 oh. thank you. See, that is weird. Water's a liquid between 32 degrees and 212 degrees. So why isn't that the case for carbon dioxide? There's a kind of ice that doesn't turn into liquid when it goes above 32 degrees. And here we're back to the people hmm? that the ice huh? that will not melt. I heard about it. Its melting point is 96 degrees. Ice with a melting point of 96 degrees? You mean there's water that freezes at 96 degrees? Yeah, well... You could also look at it as ice that won't melt until it's 96 degrees. So what's this ice with a melting point of 96 degrees called? I wonder if it's going to be important being that they're saying it five times over I and heard it's called it. Ice 9. This is another term that you need to build ice into your brain nine. parts, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you were referring- I'm sorry, Epitaph, my eyes are terrible and I cannot read what you're saying. You were referring to Lotus, the one actually dressed like a stripper. Originally, yes. Ice-9 was Lotus a made-up it's invented by a science fiction author. But recently, scientists have discovered that such a substance actually exists. Wait, hold up. So is this thing called Ice-9, or is it water? Like I said, if the ice is over 96 degrees, it'll be liquid. If it's under that, It'll solidify. So, you could think of it as a polymorph of H2O. Here, think of it like diamonds and graphite. They're Again, both made we're of in carbon, a freezer, right? but we need to stop the puzzle to have this conversation. But depending on the structure of the crystallization, oh, the hardness and structure are completely different. So you're saying normal water and this ice nine are like that? Yep. Have you heard the story about the crystallization of glycerin? For 150 years after the discovery of glycerin, People cooled it, warmed it. They did all sorts of things to it. But whatever they did, it never crystallized. However, one day in 1920, some glycerin on its way to England by ship was discovered to have crystallized during the trip. Scientists around the world wanted to research this new crystallized form of glycerin and asked for seeds. Oh, a seed is a sample of the original crystallized substance. With a seed crystal, further crystallization of glycerin would be easy. However, something very strange happened. Not only did the glycerin encouraged by seed crystals begin to crystallize, even the samples nearby did, even though they were tightly sealed. And it didn't end there. After that day, it doesn't matter where in the world it is, all glycerin crystallizes naturally when cooled to less than 64 degrees. Before that day, no matter how glycerin was cooled, 
it refused to crystallize. So this is a pattern that we're starting to see of, you know, the pictures that were shown on TV and all of a sudden once it was shown on TV, people knew what it was and now, you know, Glycerin crystallizes and all of a sudden it's but crystallizing once the everywhere. the had begun, it was almost like, how do I put it? It was almost like all the glycerin in the world was communicating. Communicating in some way that we can't sense. And now it's happening everywhere. Uh, wow, that's, that's pretty interesting. But, uh, what does that have to do with Ice Nine? What she's saying is that it's a lot like Ice Nine. What happened, I mean. A lot like? Oh, that would be bad. If water everywhere started freezing at 96 degrees, man. It'd be the end of the world. At any rate, we're not gonna have to worry about the end of the world unless we can get out of here pretty damn quick. All right, guys. Yeah. I think that's enough of that. I didn't think we'd get quite this far off topic. I mean, I know I'm kind of at fault here, but we can't be screwing around anymore. So seriously, I might go by the name Santa right now, but I didn't grow up in Iceland. I freaking hate the cold. So let's get cracking, all right? We gotta find a way out of here. Selfish, isn't he? Ice Nine is interesting and all, but we can discuss it more once we get out of this freezer. Okay. So there's some stuff we haven't gotten out of here yet. A frozen chicken. Chicken! Okay, um... And the only other thing that we haven't kind of touched is kind of the big elephant in the room, which is this bad mamma jamma down here. Is there anything else here that looks useful? So! You know, maybe just needs more of a shock. More of a shock, yes. So! What I believe we want to do, if I remember correctly, is combine the water with the dry ice and the rope to make a bomb of sorts. Combine them to do this. Do we have to tie this together? Oh, here we go. That's right. We use the chicken to break apart the ice. The dry ice is all in pieces now. Okay. Yeah, you put the piece of dry ice into the water and then tie it to the rope and throw it like a bomb. I knew it was some combination of such things. There we go. So now let's use the water bomb on here. Put water into the bottle with dry ice and make sure the lid's closed. Now I just have to put this makeshift bomb on the doorknob. All right, that's set. So, uh, what do we do now? We just need to give it a little, uh, tap. The bottle's already about to pop. If we just throw a rock or something at it, it'll go off all on its own. A small rock? Huh, a small rock. All right, this ought to do the trick. Ah, some dry ice, huh? Not a bad idea. All right, guys, stand back. Actually, we should probably hide somewhere. Yep. Where exactly do you expect us to hide, genius? Oh, uh, I don't know. Where do you think, genius? There Maybe... isn't really anywhere big enough. Except, you know, the hole in the fucking ground I just opened? Yeah, there is. Look, right here. We can hide in there. Come on, get inside, quick. All right, here I go. Three, four, five. You're counting the wrong way. Uh, seriously. <laughs> that is a really sad excuse for a joke, man. Sorry, dude. All right, for real this time. Yes, whenever you're ready. Just throw the damn thing. All right, here I go. Three, two, one. Jumpy, the ice on the door, is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. The blast must have shattered it. Yes! All right, let's see if it opens. Hooray! And we've out. escaped the room inside the escape room. Move! Yeah, oh, you just God run right damn over. It. Hot, 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 hot. 
fuck? Well, you did just grab the grill. What did you think would happen? Hey, where's Lotus? Ooh, uh, welcome back. I was starting to get tired of waiting for you guys. What Lotus. are you doing? Lotus. What do you mean, what was I doing? I was waiting. We were gonna die! Oh, yeah? But you didn't. So everything worked out all right, didn't it? What the hell? <laughs> Just kidding. It might not look like it, but I was really worried. Oh, don't give me that crap. Uh, I'm telling the truth. I mean, if you died, then I'd be in trouble too. Yeah, we can't get through if the you doors. Died, then I'd be stuck here, and I'd die too. See? Yeah. I did all I could. I even looked around to see if there was anything I could use to pry open the door. But I couldn't find anything. So, all I could do was wait. I mean, what else did you want me to do? Call the cops? Fine. But there's one thing I have to ask you. What's that? You didn't close the door, did you? What? You think I closed the door on you? Why would I do something like that? It closed on its own. I told you before, if you die, then I die too. Yeah, I guess so. If she really wanted to kill us, all she had to do was bar the door from the outside. That's true. But she didn't. Well, she didn't do anything. She's only lazy, or negligent at least. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you. Hmm? Oh, yes, well that's all right. As long as you understand. Hey, no more screwing around, you two. Break time's over. Especially for you, lady. You've just been sitting on that fat ass of yours while we were freezing to death. Oh, How Santa! Rude. I was plenty busy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How about you put all that energy into something besides bitching? Let's go. Okay, so the next obvious thing to do is to take this frozen chunk of pork with the piece of paper inside of it and throw it on the grill. Now, I always thought that this was kind of a weird solution because I wouldn't want to put any type of paper on a grill. I would be afraid that it would catch fire. But apparently it's a thing we're going to do anyway. Guess I'll put that meat on the grill. Yeah, exactly. I guess it won't burn right away. Uh, yeah. Hurry up and take the piece. It's not coming out. This thing's frozen stiff. I still can't get it out. Yeah, so it looks like we'll have to cut the meat. I wonder if we have anything to cut it with. Okay, C plus 10 plus F. So C <laughs> is 12. And F is 15. Punching in random numbers. <gasps> no, okay, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. It's not ten because in in hexadecimal ten is sixteen. 
So it's 12 plus 16. So it's 12 plus 16 plus 15, which is 43. Yes! Could it be that I'm finally getting a hang of this shit? That is the first time I think I've been able to solve that on my own. And there's the key card. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, so before we kind of take the plunge and exit, let's talk about final thoughts on this room. Um, like I said, I'm not a fan of it. Um, I don't know why I never... You see, here's the thing is that... I don't know why I just thought of 10 as a regular number. I guess I just thought of it as... You know why? Because when you look at math problems, like, letters are normally representative of something, but the numbers are just the numbers. So I didn't think at first to put the 10 also in hexadecimal. So we need to keep that in mind <laughs> for any future kind of numbers. Um, which is why it said... The note said meet 10, but there was 16 plates in the meat section because 10 in hexadecimal is 16. I think it finally just clicked in my brain. I think it finally just clicked. Um, anyway, um, probably the outstanding part of this puzzle was the escape room inside the escape room, um, which I think is kind of a cute little gimmick. Um, I don't know if mixing the ice in the water and then using it to make a bomb was an obvious answer. If I remember correctly, and I could be wrong, the first time I played this game many, many years ago, I kind of just started mashing inventory items together until that worked and I was like, oh, okay. Um, otherwise, I feel like it's um, a pretty standard room. Again. I would not think to put that piece of pork with the paper in it on the grill where the piece of paper could catch fire. But I suppose eventually you would try it just if you don't have any other ideas. Um, but otherwise there weren't really a lot of moving parts to this particular puzzle. Um, the puzzles get much more complex in later games and later on in this game as well. But um, yeah, all in all it was kind of a cute room. There were a couple of puzzle interruptions including the one in the freezer as we were freezing to death which is kind of ridiculous but they weren't as long as the ones in the first puzzle so it was a little less intrusive so um all in all i feel like this was a, a, a pretty okay room no that's my thoughts on the puzzle we found it I seeked the way out. I think we've been here before. The elevators are over there, so that means... We went into the kitchen through that door and came out on this side. Yes, we discussed that. That what means was going the map happen. was right. Looks like. Then let's use it to plan our next move. Next move? Yeah, we need to decide where to go from here, don't we? He's right. Let's get started. From the looks of it, there are four possible routes. Let's just keep it simple and call them A, B, C, and D. First, A and B. They both seem to connect to a room that looks L-shaped. Yeah, there were two doors. But they were both locked. We couldn't open them. Mm -hmm. Now, route C. This goes all the way to the main staircase. That means it's door five, one of the numbered doors. Then do you think we would meet up with the other four after this hallway? No, I don't think we will. Why not? Look, there by the stairs. See how the gate is open? When we went into the kitchen, it was closed. 
But it's open now. What do you think that means? They opened it. Most likely. And if we take Route C, we're going backwards. That would be pointless. Then that means... We gotta Route take D, the D. D it is. Yep, Route D. Then we're set. And everything looks okay here. Let's check the next deck just to be sure. Yeah, just like I thought. D deck is totally underwater. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. At least the water level hasn't really changed. Small comfort. May as well head back to C deck. Hmm. What else is here? There are two elevators over there at the top of the stairs. Just like the floor above. Hold on. These are kind of different. See? There's a card reader on the side. Another strange mark. Hey, look! It's Lotus's symbol. It's Venus. Huh? See? It's the woman symbol with horns on it. Or is it Saturn? That it's seems Robin. like. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. What was that about the mark again? Uh, uh nothing. This is a Mercury symbol. Mer the horns symbolize wrong. the wings on Hermes's staff. Hermes, herpes, whatever. Santa! If we can't get this thing to work, these elevators aren't going anywhere. In other words, we need a key card with the Mercury symbol on it. Probably. I guess we can't get on then. Let's just disregard the elevators for now. How about this hallway on the left? Whoa, there's so many doors. Damn it. If we try and search all these, the sun's gonna go down before we've done half of them. I think the sun already set. I have a feeling this ship is the only thing that's going to be going down anytime soon. Mm. That's even worse. Well, we can come back to this hallway later. Let's check the hallway on the other side, shall we? <sighs> Time to head back to the stairs. And now the right hallway. <sighs> there are doors here too. <sighs> well, I guess it's just four this time. Let's open them. All right. Let's start with this one. Huh. It isn't locked. I'm going to open it. What? Looky here. What, what the hell is this? This place is huge. Oh, there are beds everywhere. Is is this a hospital? It definitely has the smell. Could be. I see medicine cabinets and surgical tools. Hey, look there. The four doors at the end. The left door says three. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. And the rightmost door is eight. There's no doubt. They're numbered doors. Why is the second door blank? Oh, you don't want to know. Hi, Noodles! That How are you? strange, don't you think? Nope. No point worrying about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. Maybe you can look at the map and see. Yes, that sounds like a good plan. What's up, my dear? Oh, it's no use. Well, of course. If it was that easy to open these doors, what would be the point of the notary game? We have to activate the red, or the numbered doors won't... Wait a minute. What's wrong? Look, the display on the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? Don't you remember? The red at the central staircase? If no one was inside, it said vacant. Oh, yeah. You're right. But this one... There's nothing on it. Right? I wonder if it's broken. Only one way to find out. It's not responding. How nope. about the red on door seven? And door three? None of them are working. What does it mean? <laughs> I knew it. They're broken. Zero sure sucks at maintenance. No, that's impossible. You really think Zero, who prepared all of this, would make such a stupid, simple mistake? Nope. Maybe, but that doesn't explain why this thing ain't working. I believe the bottom of the device has been removed. Snake! 
Ace, Clover, Seven. How? How did you guys... How did you end up here? That's my line? Perhaps we should exchange information. Yeah, perhaps we should. There you have it. Our half of the story. Okay, let me see if I got all this straight. When you guys got here, the bases for the Reds were already gone. And you looked all over this room, but you couldn't find anything. So you figured... that there might be something in the hallway with all the doors. So you went and had a look? Yeah. And while you were looking around, you heard voices. Uh-huh. So you followed the voices and came back here. Indeed. And that was how we found you. Why don't we check those three reds again, just in case? You're right. Huh. There's a long, thin gap on the bottom. I think it's a slot, or something. Uh, probably electronic. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. Well, uh, what about that hallway over there? Isn't there anywhere else we can go? No, there isn't. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. Mm. Hospital rooms. That's what's behind all those doors? Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. There was an astrological symbol engraved near the keyhole, however. I was able to get a good uh, feel of it. I believe it was the symbol of Jupiter. Not again. Those goddamn things are everywhere. I wonder what they all mean. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, That's a good question. I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. Nope. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. Chances are it's the Gigantic. The Gigantic? What is this Gigantic? The Gigantic. See, this she is an appropriate... sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20th century. This is an appropriate time to have exposition, not in the middle of a puzzle. <laughs> Actually, the Titanic had two sister ships, and they looked exactly the same. The Gigantic was said to be one of them. They intended to make her a passenger liner like the Titanic, but World War I began soon after the ship launched. The British Navy took her over and made her a hospital ship. At some point during the war, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean Sea. She ran aground afterwards, so she didn't end up sunk. What happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain bought her. Seemed like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic sinking. That trauma turned him into some kind of obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. Soon enough, the guy wanted the Titanic itself. Which was impossible, of course. It's stuck at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. But the Gigantic wasn't. And seeing as she was identical... So you're saying this Lord Gordain bought this ship? Yeah, at least I think I do. I don't know what that's I'm impossible. saying. impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a hundred years old. Pipe down, just pay attention. What, that's it? Well, have you got any proof? Proof? Proof that this ship is really the Gigantic. Well, uh, this ship's got stuff that's like the Titanic and the hospital ship. So, I just figured... Oh, for goodness. Don't tell me that's your only reason. No, I I've got more. Like? Well, uh, I mean, I oh seven. Oh, oh seven. Your isn't back yet, is it? Yeah. Sorry about that. Hey, 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 hey! Whoa, wait a minute. Memory isn't back. Oh yeah, right. We forgot this plot point. Yeah. Your point being? Wait. Was I the only one that didn't know? Why? Oh. Yeah. I guess I didn't tell you. I told the rest of them before we ran into you on the stairs. I told them I couldn't remember a damn thing from before I woke up. What? If you go into door five with him... Ooh. A bell. Uh, I believe he tells you while you're searching through that room that he lost his memory. So you do find out one it way or another. sounds like the clock in the main stairway. Ten... Eleven... Twelve... 12. It's midnight. Then we've still got six hours left, right? We don't have any time to screw around. Let's get going. We gotta find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room. 
That only leaves one place to look. One? The hallway. Uh, well, not just one. Hmm? Wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Don't freak out. We've already searched four of them. Four rooms? We just have to split up the rest between the eight of us. If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other 48 rooms cleared in no time. So, I don't know why the tight the the voice acting and the text kind of starts breaking there are down here, but there other rooms. Uh, maybe. Hmm. All right. So, everyone knows which area they're searching? Yeah. Yes. We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? Yeah. Sounds straightforward enough. I'll shout if I find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them within the time limit. If we can't, then we'll just have to come up with another plan. Right. Then let's do this. It's one. I better get back to the others. What are they doing over there? What happened, guys? Jumpy, look! Vacant? <sighs> Come on, guys, who was it? Uh -oh. I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. Well... What the hell? What is up with you guys? Well, that's the thing. We don't know. You don't know? When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but the missing parts were already back in the red. What? Let me see. You're right. It's in there. What about the other two? They're the same. Let me take a look. It's just as you said. All right, I, I just want to be sure here. Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here, right? Correct. None. <sighs> huh. Wait a minute. Where's Snake? Does that mean that he found them? Where's Snake? That's a damn good question. I have no idea. There's nothing to suggest it. But nothing to suggest he didn't either. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. Well, whatever he did or didn't do, he's pretty damn late. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost. Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. No! That's impossible! Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing! He can get around as well as anyone who can see! So he... He couldn't get lost! That's impossible! <laughs> I'm gonna go look for him! Hey, uh, hold on, Clover! Wait! Oh, well, Clover! Get used to get used to saying that. Oh, Clover. Damn it. What should we do now? <sighs> well, the red is working now. No, we're not leaving two people behind. We should go look for them. Oh man, this ain't good. Oh yes, what an excellent idea. We just wasted a bunch of time looking for some piece of electronic junk. Now let's waste some more by looking for a couple of idiots. Then remain here if you feel you must, but there's no time. We've only five hours left. Let's split up. All right, I'll take this direction. Then I shall look that way. I'll be over here. See you all later. All right, we should go too. Yes, let's go. But where should we start? Let's see. Where do you want to start, guys? Oh, 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 that's not... Mm-mm-mm. So, um, the casino and the first class cabin are places that we will be visiting in another playthrough. Um, they're kind of cool. Go check out that hallway with all the rooms. Okay, let's go, Jumpy. Oh, 
It's Ace. Hey, Snake! Where are you? Answer me if you're there! Switch from K2. Um... Let's go. I suppose we ah, should talk to everybody. There. Snake is... Well, that's obvious, isn't it? I assume you haven't found him yet? Yeah, doesn't seem like you're having any luck either. I really wonder where he could have gone. Well, wherever he's disappeared to, we must find him as quickly as we can. For Clover's sake. Right! By the way, um, do you think Clover and Snake are really siblings? Uh, why would you say that? Why? <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? They don't look alike at all. They don't. Yes, you know, now that you mention it, they don't. Still, there are a great many siblings who do not look like one another. It sure. certainly isn't rare. At any rate, we really must find Snake as soon as possible. The clock is ticking. We really can't afford to waste any time. <sighs> Very well. Let's get back to the search, shall we? You can leave this area to me. All right. Let's go, Jumpy. Something about that was... I'll think on it later. Like Ace said, finding Snake is our top priority. I'm thinking about plot and wondering if that's supposed to be a hint to anything. All right. Where should we go uh, next? If it is, it's really, 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 really subtle. Let's go take a look around the casino. Okay, let's go. <sighs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Snake. I'm just not seeing it. Really? Maybe you need to look harder. I don't think that's the problem. Oh, by the way, I've got a proposal for you two. Care to oh, hear? Oh, here we go. What is it? Just well, so I don't you like guys to beat around the bush, this. so I'll get right to it. Why don't we team up? Team up? Yeah. What? You need me to explain it to you? I'm saying, why don't we go through a numbered door? Even if we wanted to, that's impossible. Why? Jumpy's bracelet number is five, mine is six, and yours is eight. Our digital route would be one. But there's no number one door in the large hospital room. The only doors there are three, seven, and eight. Then we add another person. Huh? Who? What, isn't that easy? Seven. Oh, if we add seven, five plus six plus eight plus seven equals 26. The digital root of 26, two plus six equals eight. Wait a minute. What about the other four? Ace, Snake, Santa, and Clover. Well, why don't you add them up? One plus two plus three plus four, and one plus zero equals one. one. The digital root for those four would be one. Which means we would be abandoning them That's to die. Right. And you know the number one door isn't in the big hospital room, right? Of course I know that. No! Are, are you saying you'd leave them behind? Of course not. What kind of woman do you think I am? Once we get off the ship, we could come back and rescue them, couldn't we? Except that you don't add up to nine, so how are you getting through the number nine then door at the end? we wouldn't really be leaving them behind. Don't try to lie to us. I don't think you'd do anything of the sort. Really? Why do you think that? You remember, don't you? We have less than five hours left. Even if we managed to escape, there's no way we could come back to rescue them in less than five hours. Well, you never know until you try. No, no, you're not thinking this through. Even if we brought Seven with us, we wouldn't be able to get off the ship. That's the four right. of us couldn't open door nine. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The digital route for the four of us would be eight, so we'd have to add Ace to make nine. That's right. Unless we bring Ace too, we'll be stuck. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate? That's all you have to say? Well, let's try and find another way, okay? A way to get out of here with all eight of us. That's impossible. Are you being serious? And you do know that only five people, at most, can go through one of the numbered doors, right? The number nine isn't going to be an exception to that rule. Regardless, at least three people will get left behind. Well, she said huh. it. Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. Oh, wait just a second. You're skipping over a really big detail. Is that really okay? That means three people will die in the end. Are you okay with that? That's... that's just... You think I could have a moment alone? There are some things I need to think about. That 
didn't turn out to be a very pleasant conversation. Yeah. Well, uh, regardless, let's just focus on finding Snake for now. Okay. Yes, you're right. We can think about those other things later. Yeah. All right. Where should we go next? All right, let's go to... Let's go take a cabin. look at the first class cabin. It's really close. Let's talk to her. Right? We'll get all this out of the way for future playthroughs. Look, I know you're really worried, but... Alone. Alone. Hmm? Alone. I said leave me alone! You're so annoying! Just go away and leave me alone! Just looking at you guys is pissing me off! Go away, okay? Just go somewhere else! Stop bothering me! Uh, um... Why are you still here? Didn't you hear me? Uh, huh? Fine, forget it. If you aren't gonna leave, then I'll just... All right, let's go, June. Uh, yeah. <sighs> we really need to find Snake, for Clover's sake. So, uh, where yeah. do you think we should go next? Let's head back to the large hospital room. All right, that's probably the best idea. Hey, wait, that's... Santa. Santa? What him. are you doing? What, you can't tell? I'm checking out the red. Why? Is there something bothering you? What, it's not bothering you? Huh? This, the guts of this red. Why wouldn't you wonder who the hell put it back in here? Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm curious too, but... Who do you think did it? I don't know. I know who did it. Well, what about you, Junpei? Who do you think fixed this thing for us? <sighs> oh. Um... Someone other than uh, Zero. I think it was probably Zero. Why? Isn't that obvious? He's the guy who set this whole thing up. You don't think that should mean the opposite? Seems to me like that means he didn't do it. I mean, who do you think took that stuff out in the first place? Probably Zero. Yeah, exactly. Then why the hell would he put him back in after he'd taken them out himself? It just doesn't make sense. Why do all that work? Huh. <sighs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. So what happened then? Who put that stuff back in the reds? So, in other words, one of us is the person who fixed the red. Bingo! We have a winner! But if that's true, then the person who did it doesn't want the rest of us to know that they fixed it. Yeah. But why? No idea. Maybe if they come clean on that, it means we'd find out something else. Something bad. Something bad? Don't know. But whatever it is, it's gotta be worth hiding. Hmm. <laughs> of course. It could have something to do with Snake's disappearance. <laughs> you think maybe they did something to Snake? Yeah. What? <sighs> Look, if you trust anybody in this game, you're gonna lose. You've gotta be careful. The person you trust the most could turn out to be the one who stabs you in the back. And that's that, I guess. <laughs> Where would they go next? Stop. That snake hasn't been anywhere we've searched. And we can't keep looking for him. Wherever he is, it's not here. We need to get moving. We don't got a choice. Lotus is right. We're not gonna find Snake. There's a problem, though. We've gotta figure out who's gonna go through which door. Yes, yep. I have a proposal. Why don't we decide on one person to sacrifice? Sacrifice? Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yes. You've all figured it out by now, haven't you? We can't all make it through those doors. If we split into two teams of four and three people respectively, then three people will be left behind. If we split into two teams of five and two people respectively, 
then two people will be left behind. But if we split into two groups of three and leave one person out, then only one person will be left behind. You will have three people with two teams of four and three. Uh, I mean, yeah, she's kind of right. Then you're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind. Yes, we do. Given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. If the other six are to survive, then one person has to sacrifice themselves. No, that's too cruel! What's so cruel about it? To, to just sacrifice someone like that? Then what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. That's not what I meant! We shouldn't sacrifice anyone! I, I told you, that's impossible. Wake up! Whoa, whoa, calm down, you two. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is, you should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? Exactly. That's how democracy works. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. And for that reason, I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is through a vote. Oh, do you? What do you think? No! That's terrible! I'm not asking you. Shut up. Wow! What about you, She's just like, your opinion doesn't matter. Me? No. I agree, I guess. All right, that's one vote for. Counting mine, that's two. Seven. I can't say I agree with you, but we don't exactly have a choice. If we don't do something, nope. we're all going to die. I'm glad to see you get it. If I can get one more vote, then it's decided. What about you, Clover? Uh, hey, Clover. Your brother has to be behind one of the numbered doors. We've searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? Uh, let's go look for him together, okay? If we sacrifice one person, then we can go look for him. You agree with me, right? Oh, Lotus. <laughs> the motion carries. Now, let's start a vote to... That won't be necessary. I will stay. That should solve our problem, yes? Uh. Uh. <laughs> we have a Ace, volunteer. What are you saying? No, you can't do that. That won't solve anything. June, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay. But I never said I would sacrifice myself. Huh? Sorry, hold on, please. I trust you. Each and every one of you. I believe you'll come back for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's optimistic, and then there's just nuts. Those doors only go one way. You go in, you don't come out. If we go through them... You won't be able to return, correct? Yeah. True. But that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Please, I beg you. Once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. Yeah, we just had We've this discussion. We've only got five hours left. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we gonna find someone to come and rescue you? Then, perhaps you would prefer to stay instead of me? Or perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind? You see, there's no other choice. Then I see we've come to our conclusion. Go on. Don't worry yourselves about me. Go, quickly. Uh... <sighs> Good. Let's accept his kind offer, then. Lotus is so pleased with herself. Good. I think this is the best for me. Perhaps I'll be able to take a nap. It may be my age, but I get tired so easily these days. Well, what are you waiting for? We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? Yeah. You're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Seven? Seriously. Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. Oh, 
Okay, so we need to go through any door that's not door three. It's basically what you we're going too, for. You too, Santa? So whether you want to go through door seven or door eight, let me know. Otherwise, I, I'm just going to choose. I have to it. find my brother. W wait, all of you. Let's just calm down and think about this. There has to be a way to get everyone out. There has to be. Right, Jumpy? Say something. Yeah, let's think. There's got to be another way. Fine. Forget about it. I'll figure it out on my own. Ace! Come on, Ace. Please stand up. You can't give up yet. We just have to sit down together and think about this. We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here. <sighs> Ace! What happened? Ace, say something. I'm all right. How are you all right? This. A syringe? So Brill, ladies and gentlemen. So Beta. What does this do? Oh, oh, it, 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 it does lots of things. Did, it's, did it's you a use thing. this? Yes. It's just anesthetic. I'll be fine. Anesthetic? I found it earlier. While we were searching the hospital rooms, I thought it might be useful later. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be using it on myself. Why did you do this? Didn't I tell you? I'd like to take a nap. I really am very tired. Ace. Hmm? Is there something you want to say? I just like to sleep a little. Could you keep it down? No, don't, Ace. Don't fall asleep. Ah, you feel warm so comfortable i think i'll have a nice dream ace ace uh, let's get him up on a bed well we really don't have a choice now we can't let his sacrifice go to waste right <sighs> like Fair you enough. even mean that you say something no nothing yeah, we're not done choosing yet, are we? Huh? What do you mean? Well, we haven't decided who's going in what door. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, that's true. <sighs> Enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. You first, Lotus. Which door do you want? I, um... I want door number eight. It's the same number as my bracelet number. Got it. You're eight. You're next seven. Which one do you want? I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. What? What did you just say? Who, me? Well. I, I didn't say nothing. Oh, you're gonna get it next time. Alright, who's next? Junpei, which door do you want? Alright, well, since you guys don't seem to have an opinion, I'm going for door seven. I... I think... I'm gonna go with door seven. Okay. So, yeah. Alright then, that means June's gotta go through eight. What? Why? What? The six of us are gonna keep going without leaving anyone behind. There are only three ways we can do it. Have three, five, and eight go through seven, and four, six, and seven go through eight. Four, five, and seven go through seven, and three, six, and eight go through eight. Or three, six, and seven go through seven, and four, five, and eight get eight. There are no other combinations. In other words, three and four, Seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? Yes. Oh no! You're saying we aren't gonna see each other again for a long time. <sighs> hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never gonna see each other again. We gotta split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, I'm sure Probably. they're gonna connect somewhere. Why? Wh what makes you think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. That's right. In other words, the game would end right here. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. Hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. 
We're gonna see each other again. I promise. Yes. Promise? <sighs> you guys are done, right? Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take eight and Clover can take seven. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. All right, we're ready to go then. Let's move. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's go. I thought I remembered this room correctly. It is a... No. It's open. I'm thinking of the first class cabin. Let's do this! Hurry! Oh, what room do you go in with them? I forgot. We'll see. <sighs> Ending. And the true ending is that so we go through one. So we need to I think I went in the wrong door here. Fuck. I mean it doesn't really matter either way, I'm just trying to make sure that we get to see all the doors. Yeah, we might not get to see them all, but that's all right. June. Jumpy. I think that is the way that it goes, that we can't really see them all, unless you play it more times than you need to. Um, because I think I remember going back and playing, like, room two after we beat what the, the game, just so we could see them all. So we may need to do that too. Only 81 seconds left. No time to waste, right, let's guys. Let's do it. Run, Look, bitch, run. The door on the left. I can see the dead. Mm. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, and then we'd only be missing door number three. So when I go for that ending, I'll just have to make a separate save so we can jump into room three. That's easy enough. Oh, oh. Okay. It stopped. It stopped. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second time we've gone through one of these numbered doors, but whew, you never really get used to it. No. Nope. I would have thought a guy your size would have bigger balls than that. Wow. What? what the hell did you just say? Say it again! I dare you! She's you like a teenager, have dude. No. You little. You wanna die? I'd like to see you try. You fucking brat. All right, let's go. Hey, hey, calm down, guys. This isn't the time for this. It's not going to do us any good. <laughs> uh, wait here for a minute, all right? I'm going to go see if there are any other doors. We just came through this door. Ah, and of course it's shut tight. There's a short hallway on the left here, and an iron wall. I doubt I can get through it. This door is the only option we've got, right? Yeah, looks like it. Hey, something's written on the door, on that iron plate. It says operating room. Yeah, the operating room. This thing's room. telling the truth. There could be body parts inside here. Well, this is probably not going to be pleasant. Well, there's no point to standing around. Might as well go in and see what's waiting for us. Yep, I remember this one. Uh, so this one... No, it, it's nothing. Let's just go. This one uh -huh. is one of those rooms that, if I remember correctly, is far less complicated than it seems at first. But we are going to need to take notes, and it is a little bit more involved than the rooms that we've what seen the hell before. Is this? Why don't we take a look? It's an hey, operating Clover. theater. A theater. What? Clover! Hey, what's wrong? What the hell is this? Is... is this a corpse? We should probably a, take a closer look. It's a fucking yeah. doll, dude. I can see the joints from here. What the hell? That's just a huge doll or something. A d doll? <sighs> You're right. It's only a doll. Man, you really scared me. <laughs> well, I guess it would have been weird if you actually had any balls. Shut it! Wow. Don't you start with me, fatty. Wow! What's this? You want a piece of me, short stuff? Yeah, bring it on, you whale! Hey, guys, Shit. not again, okay? <laughs> Hmm. Jeez. Anyway, it looks like he's got something the two of you could stand to have a little more of. A heart! I'm talking about a heart. Huh? Uh, uh, oh, this? You mean on his chest? Yeah. Why would there be a heart in a doll? I don't think it's a doll. You think maybe it's, like, a medical mannequin or something? Yeah. Or maybe it's got more personal uses. Boy, you got a teenager in the room. Anyway, she's under age. Look around this place. Let's go. Okay. Sure thing. It's hard to remember that she's a teenager sometimes, but she is. All right, let's seek a way out. I'm pretty sure I remember most of this. So we'll see what we can do. So here's the operating room. Uh, we have one doll over here. I believe there's another doll under here. We have some stuff we need to look at over here. Some interesting stuff. And then there's these doors which we need to get into. This, I think, leads into another room where we have to do something with colored liquids. And this one has a bunch of chemicals in it that we need to take note of. Um, just off the top of my head if I'm remembering. These dolls are really kind of creepy. Sean! That's its, that's its name. This thing is creepy. I wonder why it's on the bed. Hey, I wonder what this thing is. It says a kg on the display. Kilograms. It's a scale. A white claw. Okay. You're not gonna let me go there yet, right? There's some forceps. A bunch of surgical tools. Alright, so we got what we need from there. This thing's got short iron legs. Maybe it's a heater. There's nothing inside it. Alright, we got a fake chest. Maybe you're supposed to heat, uh, there's a boiling thingy over there. There's nothing on the lid. Okay. Well, different kinds of medication, it's hard to tell them apart. There's a scalpel. 
None of this stuff looks useful. Alright, we got everything from there. I think we need to take something out of this guy alone. Give me some full steps, baby. Okay. We're gone. Clover! I love the pun! But like, you could do better. Nothing could be better than that one, baby. Clover, 100%. You are my fucking hero. Alright, um, let's go to the room with the chemicals. Yeah, chemical room. Oh. Okay, maybe we need to go over here. It's locked. Okay. Clearly, I didn't remember properly. Do you think old operating tables look like this? I have no idea. There's some sort of lid on this thing. Why don't you try opening it? Can't. There's no handle. I can't get under it with my nails either. Yeah. Alright, so I'm clearly... Oh, here we go. I have to look at it from this specific angle. Another medical mannequin. This one's a chick. She has a name too. Lucy. Looks like Miss Lucy only had a head and a left arm. Maybe we're supposed to gather all of her parts. It's another scale. Do you guys sense what's happening here? Maybe we need to do, maybe we need to cut this lung open with the scalpel. Let's try it. Hey! What do you know? Uh, is it to this room? Oh, awesome. Okay, here we go. Iron 1, salt 2, water 3. Carbon dioxide equals question mark, ammonia equals question mark, ethanol equals question mark. So I believe, if I remember correctly, what this puzzle is, is it's talking about the number of molecules. So, like, iron is just one molecule, right? Salt is two. Water is, is, uh, H2O, which is three of them, right? So we need to find... Carbon dioxide. Okay. Ammonia. And ethanol. What do you think this hint is for? Maybe it's got something to do with this box. Yeah, I believe it's the... So, so the blue and red liquids, I believe, are for the other room. But I believe if we look here around, there's a bottle of iron powder on the shelf. How do you know it's iron? The label says FE. Right. FE stands for iron, right? Yes. Slugs. Well, if there are, I was thinking we could put salt on them. The label states NACL. Right, which is two of them. An ACL. Right, that's two. I think seven will shovel up if we put it on him. Oh my lord. Okay. Something stinks. It's coming. Is it ammonia? NH3? It's ammonia. Okay. So NH3 would be four of them. I think. Go for a drink. What are you talking about? Talking about that bottle, it says C2H5OH, so 789. That would be ethanol? Yeah. That's right, it's also known as ethyl alcohol. It's pretty much what booze is made of. So you're gonna drink it? Yeah, no, I would not drink anything you find on the ship. Yeah, it could be anything in there. Fair enough. There's the hydrogen monoxide on the shelf. That's water. Yes. And the spray nozzle. It says CO2. Right, so that's... The 
three. So three, four, nine. Okay, let's see. Like a boss, thank you. So we have a fake right arm and we also have a fake heart. You think we should go back? Yeah, I think that's probably best. Mm -hmm. Hey, oh, seven. here we go. What's up? Oh, well, is, is that a medicine bottle? I got curious about it. Here, ethylene diamine tartrate? Yeah, that's right. CDT. What kind of medicine is that? It's not medicine. I think it's an industrial strength detergent. Why would they have something like that here? Uh, cause stuff gets bloody when well, you... Well, probably to clean stuff up. Yeah. Clean what up? Fuck if I know. Still, it looks like it's cleaned my brain up. You remember something? Yeah. Well, I remember a story about EDT. Happened about 50 years ago. There was this factory somewhere in America making big old EDT crystals. This is the perfect time. <laughs> they were making it to sell as an industrial strength cleaner. Like I told you before, but... A year after the factory started up, something strange started happening with the crystals they were building. Water molecules started attaching themselves to the EDT crystals. This made them into a sort of mutation in the original crystals, called a hydrate. Once the crystals turn into a hydrate, though, it's useless as a cleaner. Factory had to just dump the crystals. It's a hydrate, they were useless. But it didn't end there. After that day, the same thing started happening in EDT factories everywhere. Even ones nowhere near that first Do American Do we see factory. the pattern? Do we see the they pattern? They making crystals the same way, with the same materials and the same equipment and environment. But now, all of a sudden, every single crystal they formed turned into a hydrate. In fact, ever since that day, no factory anywhere has been able to make a pure EDT crystal. Even in EDT research done years before, they'd never gotten a hydrate. But after it happened at the first factory, it just spread. It was like, man, how do you say it? Like the molecules were communicating with one another, transmitting information in a way humans couldn't perceive. This phenomenon spread throughout the world, right? Yeah, that's, that's it exactly. But how did you know? I heard another story, uh, kind of like that one. When? In the freezer. What? The freezer? Yeah, June told me. Hmm. Ice that doesn't melt at room temperature, huh? That sounds familiar? Yeah, hold up. I, I feel like I can remember something. It's right there. Do you? So, uh, there, this is actually a pretty important, uh, choice, but I'm gonna go with the wrong choice since we're not going for the true ending. Uh, so do you know, know something, something about, about it? it? I told you I think I do. Just hold on. Uh, it was... Uh, damn it! Why'd you have to ask me some dumbass question? I totally lost my train of thought. Uh. Sorry, man. Hey! What are you two doing over there? Stop Make wasting now. time and I mean, get what? over... Okay, okay, we're coming. Jeez! Oh, well. Look, if I remember anything, I'll let you know. All right? Right now, we need to get the hell out of this room, though, okay? In fact, this particular room is very important. Which is probably why it's on the track for the, the actual ending. I'm really dumb. to have the key active in my inventory. Eventually that's what it is. Cool. Yep, all right, here we go. So, yep, a piece of paper. It's a medical record. A new material has been added to the file screen. So here's the medical record. And you can see it gives you the weight of each body part. You can kind of see what's happening here. It looks incredibly complicated when I tell you the solution. Point. 
Anyway, I it's been a while since I've seen it, so I'm gonna save it just so you know I don't fuck anything up. Um What are you doing? Don't you wanna get out of here? I'm tired. Man. Okay. So you can see we have lights. I think we know where this is going. Let's start with the red liquid. Did you hear that just now? So I didn't really I should, probably should have showed you guys first so you can kind of figure it out, but you can see these lockers all have different colors, and if we shine the correct light, it'll unlock it. So we have a right leg. Let's put the liquid in here, put on the light. Here's another leg. And if we go in here and add both, it'll make purple. Yep. Is that Jupiter? The four? Oh god, my Sailor Moon days are coming back to me. No, it's Nep. No. I don't I don't really remember or care. Basically, I'm pretty sure we've got every part of Lucy's body. Okay, so we collected six parts of that again. Let's give Lucy her parts back. Three. There's a number on here, 51 kilograms. Is this the weight? Well, we were just stacking body parts, so it makes sense that it would be the weight. So that's 51. And if you remember, the medical record here Ooh. says oh, that Lucy is supposed to be 53.2 kilograms. Ooh. Ooh. So obviously we have to start swapping parts, but I don't know exactly how to initialize that. Um, here we go, nothing happened. Okay, here we go. Maybe it's the wrong weight? That's right. I think we're supposed to swap the body parts with John's. Let's give it a shot. So this is the final part of the this room. It's very simple. Oh, why can I not remember it? Oh, I remember what it is. It's everything but the heart. That's all it is. It's everything but the heart. Let's let that sink in for a second. Oh, 
for a minute, I thought it was just the heart, but then I remembered it's actually the opposite. It's everything but the heart needs to be swapped. The lid on the scale. Hey, ba ba bam! Yeah, so because we got the weights correct, we now have the key. And here we are at the door. So before we exit, a little bit of uh, chatting on this uh, on this particular puzzle. The thing with the chemicals is probably the toughest thing we found so far. I think the real hint there is that even though the papers give numbers to um, the iron, the salt, and the water, when you click around on the shelves, it still gives you the chemical composition. So that should prompt you to kind of look at the numbers and look at the chemical compositions and go, what's similar here? It's number of molecules. And then that's pretty easy from there. It's not a crazy difficult room. Um, I do think it's kind of bullshit that the answer to the body swapping is everything but the heart. Especially since every piece has a very specific weight. You would think that there would be a little more finesse to it that, you know, there at least might be, you know, like, the left arm and the right leg or something like that. But no, it's just everything but the heart. Which I guess is supposed to be symbolic. Somehow. I don't know. Um, so I feel like that's a little bit of a, of a cheaty, uh, puzzle answer. Um, and when you spent all of this time doing the math and adding and subtracting stuff to try to figure it out, and you realize that you just have to swap everything but the heart, get kind of pissed. <laughs> I remember being incredibly angry. Um, but yeah, so besides the aggravation, um, really, it's pretty okay, and um, we're about to have a little bit of exposition now, but we only had one interruption to this one, so this is probably the best put-together puzzle that we've run across so far. It's a pretty good puzzle. I like it. Hey, hold on. Oh, what's up? Where's Clover? Huh? Here we go. Oh, God damn it. Where the hell did she go? Uh, okay, J just hold on a minute. I'll go get her. Sure thing. Hey, Clover. What's wrong? Come on. So this Let's is the first here. time I'm going to see this scene like this. Because <laughs> I don't have an item that doing? I usually do. Did you want to come back here and say goodbye to John? Hey, Clover. Can you hear me? My brother might be dead. Uh, huh? That's why we couldn't find him. If he's dead, I'm going to be next. What, what are you talking about? I don't know about What's that. What's wrong with you? Uh, uh, Let's just get out of here. We've got the key. Let's use it. That cool with you? Yeah. Then it's time to go. That was a very I'm quick sorry. scene. I'm really sorry. Just forget everything I told you, okay? Don't worry about it. Really. I mean it. All right. Thank you. Well, that was an incredibly quick scene as Damn, compared to when I have the you item. So you playing doctor in there or something? Maybe. Jealous? She's all a right. little young. I'm going to open it now. Is that cool? You don't need to keep asking. Just do it, all right? <sighs> Fine, then. Hey, we escaped, <sighs> bitch. All right. Let's get going. Hey, man, what's up with you? You're so serious, you know? Can't you sound more happy? You know, get a little excited? <sighs> <sighs> Not really. We're all still kind of in danger. <sighs> My brother might be dead. I'm going to be next. Like hell I can. Not after hearing something like that. We found it, motherfuckers. There too, huh? Every door in this place is locked up tight. How about that one? May as well give it a try. Jumpy! Huh? Hey! June? And Santa! And Lotus too! Whoa! What the hell is this? What are you doing here? What? But we didn't... Hey guys! Could you come take a look at this? Look on the wall here. A map of the ship's interior? It says mm -hmm. Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor then? Door 7. And... Door 8. Yep. They both eventually end up at this hallway. 
Yeah, isn't that what I said? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door 9. We might yep. get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. That's how the nonary game works. I see. Wait a sec. Hey, could this lead to... Oh! You've got to be kidding me. We may as well go. Yeah. But just leads oh, back to I the same forgot. room. We should keep this. Ready? I'm gonna open it. I knew it. We're back. In the hospital room. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory, and then met one another in the hallway after opening the your laboratory is a trip and a half. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show we'll of Look at this. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. <laughs> well, we saw each other again, and we ain't dead. So I say that's good enough. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. The key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. I just thought of something. I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh, okay. I can I can play through this with getting every single door. I'm just an idiot. Okay, right, you pay. Yeah. Oh, the solar system keys. Actually, we found one in the laboratory too. At least I think so. Here, the Earth key. I might lose it. It's probably better if you hold on to it. All right. That way, it won't be my fault if it gets so lost. So we saw the Earth door before in the beginning of the game. So at least we know where that door is. Yeah. On it. Now we have three keys that we haven't used yet. Yeah. The Jupiter key that we found in the operating room. The Saturn right. key card we found in the kitchen. I mean, we use them, and but... And the Earth key Lotus just gave me. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long, straight hallway, right? Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. Then, next to the stairs... Wait! What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as 7 and 8. It just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point. At least there is for me. Yeah. You're right. I'm sorry. The snake might be on the other side of door 3. Very well. I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. So 7, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Me damn. Well, <clears throat> I guess that's how it's gotta be. So I'm going with you, huh? Yes, you are. All right, let's get moving. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Yeah. Ah, the truth comes out. Okay, we're off. Bye. All right, we should get moving too. Huh? Get moving? Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. Well, I get it. We're gonna see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Yes, if we're lucky, we might find Snake. And here's the I mean, Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. All right, Junpei, open it if you please. Yeah, on it. Great, back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Uh, of course there's a reason. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Huh? This. 
the Saturn key card. Yeah, there's those elevators behind the- And the Earth key? Yeah. I'm lost. Don't you remember, Santa? On Sea Deck, where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. Yep. And on A deck, on the door to the left, there was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it, I think. So the two keys that Jumpy has should let us use the elevator and the door on A deck. Huh. Yes, that's right. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. What do you say we split into two teams? Lotus and I will search the Earth one, so you two can search Saturn, all right? Sounds good. Then you guys should take this key. We have no idea what's on the other side of these, so don't go too far. Just search for ten minutes and come back. Well, fair enough. There's a card Especially reader since next the to the left will be elevator. For us. Then let's try out the Saturn key card. Great! It looks like it's working now. All right. Now, how do I call the elevator? Oh. It only has the upside-down triangle on it. <sighs> I guess there's no up button. Well, I may as well try pushing this one. It... it opened! Look, Jumpy! <sighs> Sweet! It opened! Let's get going. W w wait What? Uh, I'm not really, uh... I just... Uh, oh, gosh. He was probably afraid of the fact that they could only go down. <sighs> Come to think of it, yeah. the lower floor, D-deck is completely underwater. An elevator heading to a submerged floor. That is pretty scary. Hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Um, well, yes, I guess it did. It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise like it was moving. And then it opened. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, take a look inside. <laughs> it's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. Oh, you're right. They are. Well, let's test it. Test it? Yeah, watch this. Now, I'll just put one foot inside the elevator and look over at the buttons. Oh, there's only two, E and C. All right, I'll push E. I think I can hear it opening on E deck. Okay, that's done. Now I'll just press the button again. I mean, this is probably the smart way to do it, as, as silly as it may seem. Yep, not a single drop of water to be seen. See? What does that mean? How can E deck be safe if the D deck is full of water? Well, here's what I think. The elevator shaft and E deck must be watertight and separated from wherever the ship's been punctured. Here, uh, let me show you. I see. So is that why the ship hasn't sunk? The shape of the inside keeps it all from filling with water? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. So I'm gonna go down and check it out. You stay here, all right? Um, but... Come on, just do it, all right? I I'm coming with you! Huh? Hey, wait! Job. Oh, crap. It closed. I can't just let you go alone, you know. Ah, jeez. It looks normal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll knock it off. It's just like I thought. This part hasn't flooded. Come on, just look around. There's no water here. <sighs> You're right. It's not flooded at all. See? But there's a whole lot of water. Yeah right on top of us. Yeah. What's gonna happen if the ceiling breaks? We'd probably die. Oh no, don't be so casual about something like that. At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can, once we're done looking around down here. Lotus and Santa might already be back. Okay, good idea. Now then, iron bars. Well, we can't go over there. Right. Mm -hmm. Then maybe. Well, it looks like there's a long straight hallway down this way. Something's written on the door at the end. Wait, is that? It's Let's door check. number six. I knew it. This is a numbered door. 
But we can't do anything with only the two of us. We better head back and let everyone know. Yes. Wait, what's this? Is this the map for Edek? I should take it with me. Mm -hmm. We've got maps, we found doors. So you guys found door one. So now we've located two new doors. The six door and the one door. You know, it is interesting that Edek wasn't flooded. Well, we don't really know if all of Edek is safe. We only checked the area around the elevator. Yeah, even so, it's still very interesting. You said the six door was there, right? Yes. And that means yep. Zero planned all this out. Even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. It's pretty mind-blowing yep. when you think about it. Yeah, I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. Yeah. It would have been a ton, that's for sure. Well, that does go along with what Ace was saying. The most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Yeah! Yes, it does make sense. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Um. Yeah? Um, I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Huh? You guys leaving me behind? Just kidding. All right, let's go. Alrighty, guys. So we're back here. Hey! Where the hell did you guys go? Seven? Hmm. Um. What's wrong? What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? Snake was... Snake is... Snake is... Dead. He died. Just as the ninth man did. Oh my god. That's not true, is it? <sighs> We should make sure. Yeah, right. We should. Wait! Not that way. What? Why not? I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing all the way. It's not locked, so you can go in that way. Uh, where is, uh... Where is he? The shower room. The left side of the hallway. I put a broom in there, too, to keep the door open. That means we can get in without going through the numbered door, right? Yeah. Yep. That's right. Then let's go. This wasn't open when we passed here before. Well, let's keep going. Oh, it smells horrible. Oh, yeah, this is pretty awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, oh. Hmm. Where is he? Where's Snake? There. June, you should stay here. But... Please, just do me a favor, okay? All right? I'm going in. Mm. Uh. <laughs> just like Ace said, just like the ninth man. The detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. Oh god. The, the bone is coming out of his left arm. Mm -hmm. It's definitely an open fracture. Oh, the face. It's horrible. Yeah, can't even tell who it is. But the clothes are... No mistake about it. It's Snake. <laughs> Snake was probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the Ninth Man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Then they shoved him into it, alone, and waited nine seconds for the door to shut. Once that door shut, it was all over for Snake. But he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. Unfortunately, it didn't work. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. Snake was the only one who went through the door, and then 81 seconds after he was shoved in, that happened. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. 
Yeah. That means we're looking at multiple perps here. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. Right after that was when we noticed he was gone. And that means none of us have alibis. We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned, looking for those parts. Yeah. That means anybody could be a killer. W wait a minute. What are you talking about? How can you say that so casually? I mean... You're implying that one of us is a killer. Well, not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants, you know? What? Zero wants? Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and loser. Whoever makes it through door nine is a winner. And those who don't are the losers. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Yes. That is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes. Almost certainly Zero himself. Well, well, if there's anyone we should doubt, it should be Zero. He masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? Hmm. Good question. If Zero killed Snake, then Zero is on the ship with us. Is Zero still on the ship with them? But I don't... Where could Zero be hiding? I think... I think Zero is one of us. Bum bum bum! Was he one of them? I mean, it's possible. Well, that's possible. Huh? Like Clover said, Zero might be one of us. What are you saying, Jumpy? Didn't you hear what Ace said? Exactly. I said we shouldn't suspect one another for no reason. No reason. I've got a great reason. And what's that? The bracelets. Why are the bombs in our bodies connected to the bracelets? You're all thinking Zero's hiding somewhere watching us, right? If he's doing that, then he could just detonate the bombs by remote control if someone did something they weren't supposed to. It's true. It would be a lot more precise and a lot easier. But if that's the case, then why is the bomb set off by the detonator in the bracelet? Huh. You got a point. I'm not done. It's all automated. Try applying the same ideas to the Nonary game. All of the puzzles here run all by themselves. In other words, Zero doesn't have to be controlling them for the game to move forward. Why is that? Why would Zero bother to do something like that? So let's say you and Clover are right. Zero's one of us. If that's the case, then it'd be really hard for him to keep track of all of us or control anything remotely. That's right. why all the puzzles run by themselves. That's what you're getting at, right? Yeah. Seven, when we were talking earlier, you said any one of us could be Snake's killer, right? Yeah, something like that. All right, then. I've got a question for you, Ace. You said something like Zero must be the one who killed Snake, right? Yes, something like that. I can't think of any other explanation. So what do we get if we combine those? They fit together pretty well, I think. Something like this. Whoever killed Snake is Zero. Hence, Zero is one of us. Seven and Ace's theories aren't mutually exclusive. They actually complement each other pretty well. At least they do if Zero is one of us. What were his motives? His motives? Yes, isn't that pretty important? Why would Zero want to hide as one of us? Oh, well, that's because... Um, I... don't know. Well, so much for making a persuasive argument, Junpei. In other words, you only had circumstantial evidence. I don't really think that's enough to go on, you know? Ah. It's three in the morning. That means we have three hours left. Then we need to move now, Seven, Clover, Junpei. I know how you feel, but you do understand that right now it's important we trust one another, don't you? You're right, but... We must go. We have very little time left. Our next destination is Mercury. 
But maybe you and June should check it out first and then report back to us. All right. Let's go, June. Right. Here it is. The Mercury card reader. We're using the card seven gave us, right? Yeah. yeah. I found it when we were checking out the shower room. I think seven said something like that. Anyway, let's see what happens. I guess the elevator works now. Jumpy, I know it's only the two of us, but let's do our best. What's with you all of a sudden? Well, I'm happy we were put together. Uh, you know it's just for searching E-Deck, right? Even so, I'm glad I'm with you. Oh. Oh my lord, lady. First, we need to find out if the elevator comes up full of water. Just like we did before. Oh, here it is. I knew it. It's not wet at all. Let's go. Yes. Look! Nearly all of the buttons are destroyed. Yeah, only the C and bottom button can be pushed. We're on C deck right now, so the only one we can choose is bottom. Yeah. Well, let's try it out. I know what this is. Yeah, this is a this is a really bad combination so to do deck. first off. Hey, over there. This is a numbered door. This is the eighth one we found. There were two numbered doors on B deck near the central staircase. They were doors four and five. Three more in the large hospital room. Doors three, seven, and eight. And the door we found on E deck, and the door Lotus and Santa found on A deck. It was a six on the door on E deck and a one on the door on A deck. That means... Do you think the next door we find? Yeah, I think so. The next one's gonna be door nine. Finally! Yeah. You don't look very happy about it, though. It's not that. I just hope nothing goes wrong. You're right. We should keep yeah, our Yeah, that would be crossed. terrible if Let's something went wrong. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, seven pieces. Just double checking, oh, but yeah, everyone this. wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? Yes, just like you told us earlier. <sighs> Can't believe we're both. We need to make the whole thing fair. Blah de blah. This is a complicated plan, you know. Hurry it up, Mr. I have a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah, quiet in the peanut gallery. All right, let's open these up. The first one says Ace Request Door One. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? Um... Okay, so we don't want that ending. No, we don't have time for that. Sorry. Let's keep going. I have to go for a specific door. Next is Santa. He wants door six. Yeah, that's what I wrote. Clover wants one, Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. Uh. Wait a minute. Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the Elephant Man. No, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. But... Just give it up, Lotus. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. I am not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. Barely. So, last I checked, that's not a crime. Maybe. But what about common decency? Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. Oh, oh I'm gonna kill you! Oh, not good. Let go! Let go of me! I'm killing him! Junpei, read the rest. Uh, right. June wants door six. Yes. I don't really have a reason. I just felt like it. So this was everyone's vote. Ace and Clover requested door one. Seven and Lotus requested door two. Santa and June requested door six. But the door I should choose is... Okay, the last one is mine. I want to go through... Door one. We have to go through door one to get this My particular ending. My choice is door one. Hey, wait a minute there. You cheating? Cheating? I'm asking if you changed your number after you heard what doors we wanted. How could I do that? I wrote it down on the paper earlier. Let me see that. Sure, here. 
I had three pieces of paper ready, and I put the one with drawer six on it into the pot. I just needed to make sure I drew last. After I saw everyone else's result, I just chose whatever door I wanted. If the number I'd already put in matched, then I didn't have to switch the paper out. Well, what does it say? <laughs> you got lucky. Very well. We've decided who will go through door one. It will be Clover, Junpei, and myself. Our only problem is the two remaining teams. June and I want door six. Lotus and I want door two. That's not good. We can't open either of those doors with only two people. <sighs> Aw. Fine. Seven, we'll go through door six. Sure thing. I didn't really want to go through door two anyway. Besides, if we've got a younger girl with us, it'll lower the average age. Right, June? Uh, well, I... I am... Um... Pig. You just wait and see. Calling me old. This is why men are such a pain in the ass. <laughs> She's just blabbing! They're about as subtle as a brick. And they're at it again. I'll see you later, June. Jumpy. Don't make that face. It'll be like what seven. Maybe said. we can get to the last ending. Maybe we, we are going to be split up tonight. permanently till we find door nine. We might get, we might separated, get separated for a little while, while but we'll see each other each again. Other. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door nine. That's, That's how the notary game works. works. It'll be fine. I'll see you soon. All right. See you later. Here's a deck. It was the door on the left, right? Mm. That should be it. Yes. And here we go. It's just as Santa and Lotus said, a numbered door. There's the red. I'll go first. Now the two of you, if you would. <laughs> now. Are you ready? Yeah, I remember sure, this. Yeah. I Anytime. remember this room. Yep, yep, I remember this room. Oh, it's not fun! Three, two, one. This is... And it's open! Move it! The captain's quarters, if I remember correctly. Where? Yeah, where? Uh, there it is! Over there! Uh, uh, it stopped. Yes, it did. Whew. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. <laughs> I agree. Now then. There's another door. Let's try opening it. So, it open. this is the wheelhouse? Yep. Ace, you investigate the wheelhouse next door. Very well. Clover, you're in charge of this room. Uh, Say something. Okay, I will. All right then, let's get started. Clover's not doing so well, as you can tell, but that's okay. So if I remember correctly, I had issues with this room because there's like a bullshit order of operations to one of the puzzles. So this is the chart room. This map looks weird. What is it? It's a map of the rubble with the Atlantic Ocean in the middle. It probably looks weird because you're not used to seeing it that way. Now this is the way we're used to seeing it with, you know, America over on the left and then Africa, yeah, you know. Um, let's look here. Yeah, the pocket watch has a bullshit order of operations oh, to be watch. used. Might I take a look at it? Hey, sure. man, what are you doing over in this room? Oh, I just thought I'd come check up on the two of you. Is there a problem? No. Well, not a problem, but... Oh, ho. I see, of course. I apologize for the intrusion. Well, best of luck. Ow. Ah, what the hell? Ah, my head. Ah, uh, yes. There was something I wanted to check, if you don't mind. Yeah? What's that? Pardon me. Hey, what, what the hell are you doing? Well, what are you putting your hand in my pocket for? Stop! I... Uh, Just as I thought. Yeah. You switched them, didn't you, when we voted? Uh... Well, 
I can't say that I care. I managed to get through the numbered door I wanted, despite your mischief. Then, why did you... Oh, simple curiosity. I hope you won't think ill of me for it. <sighs> Damn. Okay, so we got everything there. A wooden box, maybe a case for letters. Oh, you ever write letters? Yeah, she's not the talk of the mood. Something written on it. Ship's Law. New material's been added to the file screen. So the files are important for this room, if I remember correctly. So here we go. So this is important. We leave soon for a new journey across the sea. After leaving, leaving port, we headed south and west. We turned southwest to steer around the continent. That should also help us figure out where they're starting from. And then proceeded northwest. We made port, then changed our heading east for a time, and are now heading due north. Soon we will dock in the United Kingdom, the homeland of this vessel. So we have to... So this is the United Kingdom, right? So we were heading north. supposed to backtrack I believe that I, I forget what that's for here we go here we go yes okay. it isn't good so many drawers but nothing inside of them the hell well steering wheel might be a more appropriate term Compass. It appears to be broken, however. The glass cover has been smashed to pieces. There we go. The steering wheel would be more accurate. Yes. The compass and what destination disappointed to. I hope. Uh, So, you, we've seen this kind of thing before. Um, seems just like the other one. Middle plates bolted over the windows. They've been welded on. So, the pocket watch obviously goes here. The shape. Pocket watch is intended to go in there. We may need to do something with the watch first. Ah ha ha ha. Okay. And this is a display. An electronic score. Well, it's not really a scoreboard. Which has several points in the map connected by a line. There seem to be several maps there. They're clipped together on one side. Transmitter. Hold on. There's no handle. There is no handle. It looks like it was deliberately removed. Now, I believe we're missing pieces to this. What's the question? There are a number of red pins in several locations. What do those red pins mean? Yes. Maybe one of them matches up to the pins or something. Let's see. Looks like this one's a match to the pins. We've got seven locations connected by straight lines, and each one has a word next to it. That's probably the speed. 
So here we go. It shows southwest, southwest, northwest, east, north, and then straight, which is exactly the the um, directions that we had in the log. So that's full, half, slow, full, half, dead, and then stop. But we still need to find the trying to open the door as pointless. I tried it earlier. It won't open. Um, need to get into that room. So, whoa! The steering wheel moves. So, let's see. I know something else as well. You move this wheel, the compass also moves. Ship, it's moving. Tricked you, didn't I? The wheel and the compass must be connected somehow. Yeah, I believe it is important. Okay. So, this is a little weird. This is where we, we have to use the instructions given to us. Um. Okay. So, first, south. Have to hit stop before it gets to it. Okay, there we go. Then west. Then southwest. Okay. Um, then northwest. Okay. Then east. Then north. There we go. The handle came off. It's been so low on the zero. So I obviously, we can u probably use this handle for this. I sure hope this handle fits. It fits. All right. Now we have the engine order telegraph, which we also have the answer to. So, we need to go full, half, slow, full, half, and I guess dead slow and stop? Yes. And I put in the- oh. Something's happened on the back wall of the wheelhouse. I was right. Yep, here we go. There's something on the wall that looks like an arrival board. There's a whole bunch of words to the left side of the display. There are names of ports across the world. Right, this is the... right. I get it. It does look like those names are all ports along the ship's route. Only one of those has a time on it. 10 seconds past 3 o'clock. Perhaps that's the arrival time. It doesn't appear to be working. It's still 5 minutes and 39 seconds past 10 o'clock. Okay. Right. Hmm. Oh, perhaps. Well, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, so this is what was a little confusing to me, is that you have to use the clock on here to get him to change the, the time. Which I guess is not, thinking back on it now, is not so crazy of a thing. Ten seconds past the o'clock. We 
need to unlock the door. Clover. That's it. That's the room. <laughs> so this one is kind of um a quick Oh, a hallway. Um so this room is kind of quick. Um it's pretty simple as long as you you know write everything down. Um you know, there is a lot of stuff that you can click on that isn't useful. And that second area where I actually can move the wheel, when I first played it, I remember not even seeing that scene because it didn't seem like that was even part of the room. I had to keep hitting, like, the, the right button to turn around until I was like, whoa, what's this part of the room? Like, I don't remember seeing it because you don't see a map of that room. You see a map of the, the original room that you start in with the map in it. Um, but otherwise, it's a pretty straightforward room. Uh, I do think it's a tad bit bizarre to have to use the stopwatch on the arrival board because you would think that you would, you know, be able to do that yourself, but you have to use it on there so Ace does it. But regardless, it's a pretty quick room, pretty simple. Um, it does seem like a little bit of a step back considering um, the way that room 7 was, um, that it was a little more involved, but it is what it is. It's not a bad room. It's far too narrow to be called one. This seems to be the only route. Yeah, let's go. Wow. This is what I was thinking of. Well, these machines are weird. Uh, I've never seen any of them before. Huh? Wait, this one is... Oh, yes. It's a telegraph. A telegraph key. These were used to transmit Morse code a long time ago. This must be the communication office. And that door? Captain's quarters. Huh. That's what it says. Then, do you think... Well, we won't know if we don't open it. <laughs> Here's the last thing you expected to find. Not again. Damn. No, w wait. We didn't check his pulse yet. Maybe he's still alive. No pulse. Well, he's dead. Damn. If only we knew how it happened. I think you guys can see the obvious piece of this puzzle here that seems very odd. These wounds... I won't point it out, but I think you can see I it. I wonder what killed him. It must have been this... These clothes. A captain. Does that mean this guy was... Zero? Bracelet zero. <sighs> he has a bracelet. It may be wise to find a way out of here first. Yeah, you're right. Alright, so here is uh, the actual captain's quarters. Yes. So here we have the bed. We have a bunch of stuff here. Um... A camcorder that's pointed at the door. I was someone about a videotape a door. That's a very good question. There's blood on the chair. I want to check everything here. Yes, a music box. If I remember correctly, we have to take that music box apart. That's a lamp. Bed, there's nothing on it. Okay. They look like batteries. There's a keyboard running from under the monitor. This screen shows a big hospital room. Uh, some of these are rooms we've seen before. There's the main area. There's a bunch of weird buttons on here. They probably switch what you see on the screens. We have no idea. Press something. I guess it. Whoa! So you can see it's pointing here. And we have the words zero on it. Oh god. Yeah. Maybe it has something to do with number bases, which you know I love so much. Okay. Ten bases written as A in hexadecimal, right. So we have right eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F. So then G would be ten, right? H would be 11, 
and so on and so forth, I think. A new most, okay, 10, 11 is B, 12 is C, right, 14 is E, and so the treasure ship, yeah. So, that's that. Um, we will deal with huh. that. Z-E-R-O, huh? It's like yep. he's making fun of us. What do you think? Nothing. What about him? Do you think that's really Zero? There's no way that's him. Didn't I tell you already? Zero is one of us. Yeah, right. I know it's yeah. important to figure out who this guy is, but don't you think we should figure out how to get out of here first? But... Please, I don't want to waste any more time. <sighs> All right, sure thing. Okay, so we can't open anything over here. This is the original room we came in. Here's some small screwdrivers, which I believe will be combined with this. We now have a cylinder. Ink, and I believe if we combine the ink with the cylinder. Yes, a dirty Ooh. cylinder, and if we find a piece of paper, we should be able to do a thing. The drawer is the only one that's locked. Let me see a keyhole, though. It's blank. There's nothing written on it. Yes. Okay. So it's a Morse code chart. down. For all I know, it could spell zero. <laughs> Something in in Morse code. Things aren't moving this way, so the time is wrong then. Oh, that wasn't a joke. <laughs> uh, okay, that's the way back. I do think I have to type something in. That's the only item we have so far. I have no idea how it works. There's a keyboard in for them to the monitor. You're throwing the screen right behind us. You're right. So whatever that camera sees is sent to the screen in real time. I wonder if it means something. So, we also have the word zero, which we may need to put in here in hexadecimal. Oh, I have to put a key in it first, so I'm not ready to do this yet. Static. 
It doesn't look like just static. And that's it. What am I missing here? Checked into one of the desk drawers. What? Why am I stuck here? I've got the right idea. I feel like I'm just not clicking on the right thing. Click on it from the right angle. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's see if I can do it correctly. Ready? Oh, it gives it to me. Okay. I did figure it out, and I did unlock the drawer. And inside is butts and the key. Looks like there's something on the cover. A L L I C E. Hmm. Like, isn't it supposed to say all ice? This doesn't have a space between the L and the I. Are they saying that A L L I C E is a single word? What the hell is this? They are hieroglyphs, a form of writing used in ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt? That's right. Can yeah. you read them? Of course. I can't. What would make you think I could? What the hell? Whoa, the, the whole thing's like that. Huh? What's this? Oh, a, a key card. Uranus. That's the Uranus symbol. Something's written on the bottom. Bottom deck, bottom library. deck library. This must be the key to the library, then. Is the bottom deck a library? Uh, anyway. Whatever. It's gonna have to wait. I can't do anything right now. And there's the key. So we should be ready to get out of this room at this point. Oh, One more. oh but first, I promised myself that I could go into the file and figure out, or try to figure out, So Z. So, hold on. So, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37
Oh, this one's gonna wind up tripping me up. That's supposed to be 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, all right, let's see if I can figure this out. Let's see if I did this right. Here's the weird key. Yes, okay, I think I got this. So in base 10, or base 16, whatever it is, hexadecimal, which I guess is base 16, we got to do Z-E-R-O, obviously. So zero should be, Z should be, oh, should be 35 for Z, 14 for E, 27 for R, and 24 for O. Yes! Gina finally figured it out. Yes! Look at me, guys. Figuring it out. to have unlocked it. So, the one thing that I find weird about this particular puzzle is, um... Alright, let's go. The one thing I found weird about this particular puzzle is that... That's oh, oh. the next door. Wait, oh my God. a piece of paper. I, I, that running is this annoying. Is... Okay, anyway, um, before we get to that, my thoughts on that puzzle. Um, so that puzzle is pretty quick. Obviously, having to click on the, um, more, the, um, the, you know, telegraph machine from a specific angle is bullshit. And that paper that we got had these four different lines of different letters, um, which I don't understand why, because it didn't even go to Z and you didn't even need that information. Like they could have just done one line of just, you know, one of zero through nine and then like A to Z. And that would have been enough to figure out, okay, I need to, you know, count and get the value of the numbers of the letters in hexadecimal. Um, so that's also presented in a weird way. I'm not sure why it's presented like that. Maybe if I understood hexadecimal a little bit better, it would make sense to me. Um, so I feel like that one is a little bit flawed and I do remember getting stuck on it. And because of the weird, you know, issue of having to click on it in a specific way, I'd have to say it's probably the most the worst puzzle that we've run into so far in this playthrough, you know what I mean? Um, so with that being said, I'm actually going to take a quick break, but I will be right back.
Okay, we are back, queens. I apologize for that. Let's jump back into it. What have we found? Map up the ship's interior for a deck. There we go. <laughs> What's wrong? I found a map for this floor. I see. Well, that was anticlimactic. I should keep this, though. Hey, uh, where's Clover? Damn it. What the hell is she up to? Clover! Huh? Huh? <sighs> what the hell are you doing? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? What the hell is that? What? You've got something in your pocket. What is it? Oh, this? Uh, um, this is... Hmm, I wonder... What the hell? Come on, we gotta hurry. Huh? Clover, what's that on your back? A stick. Hey, Clover, what the hell's that thing on your back? What the hell's that thing on her back, guys? Is she ignoring me? Ah, for crying out loud. <laughs> the big stairs. Huh. So this is where it ends up, just like it says on the map. Ace. Did he head down? Oh, there he is. Look, the four others are there too. Really? Let's join them. Jumpy, Clover. What's up? We found it. Found what? We found it. What did you find? The last door. We found door nine. What? Come on, just follow us. We'll explain on the way. Okay. Well, if that's the case. Wait for me. We should get going as well. Jumpy! We finally made it! Yeah, it's finally time. That's we've right, it's finally end. time. We've reached the end. Something's bothering me. Only three to five people can go through the numbered door. Seven of us are on our way to door nine. That means that, best case scenario, there will be two of us who have to stay behind. Two people. Is there a way? 4.30. We've only got 90 minutes left. I've got no time to wonder about it now. Hey! Junpei! Jun! What the hell are you two doing? Hurry it up! Let's go, Jumpy! Yeah. Hey, what about door two? What about door two? Door two is the only one we didn't... We haven't gone through it, I mean. Yes, that is true. Are you guys okay with that? Not investigating it, I mean? So what? We found door 9. We don't need any of the other doors. What's the point? Huh? What's the point in going to door 9? Hmm. We can't all go through it. I mean, right? fair enough. Hmm. And we should do what we have to do before we go any further. Hmm. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. The best way to finish it quickly is to do the border pieces first. You know? Ugh. Or what? You think all seven of us should go to door nine? And then we argue over who stays behind and who gets to go? Do we really want to do that again? <laughs> I mean, what other choice do you have? If we check out door two, maybe we'll find something. Maybe okay. we can find a way to get all of us out. Huh. I don't know what might be in there. We may not find anything. But don't you think it'd be better to at least have a look? I mean, am I wrong? Does that sound wrong to you guys? Hmm. <sighs> yeah, you do have a point. The last time I checked the clock, it was 4.30. It's not like we've got a lot of time, but if we're quick about it, we might have time to take a look. You're right. Let's go take a look at door two. The elevator can take us down to door two. Who shall go then? Let's see. Me. I'm going. Then June, Seven, and I need to go with her. Hey, why do you get to... I don't mind. We'd only waste time arguing over it. Jumpy, I'm okay too. See? Can we just go now? Ah, <sighs> fine. All right, let's get going. I'll see you later. Okay, be careful. Lotus, would you be so kind as to go with me? Go with you? Well, I didn't think people still talked that way outside of the 1950s. <laughs> I'm a mother. Would that be a problem for you? Oh! Uh, that wasn't what I meant to... I was hoping you would come with me. 
But seriously, though, I was kidding. <laughs> so, where was it you wanted to take me? There's something I wanted to show you. Hey, man, what the hell? I'm not important enough? Well, it's not like that. Once I've shown Lotus, I'll show you. Really? Of course. Fine. Do whatever you want. Thanks, Junpei. Are you coming, Lotus? Fine. Doesn't look like they're going to be back anytime soon. I might as well go and see whatever it is you think is so important. Thank mm -hmm. you. Well then, shall we go? Ugh, they're so slow. What's keeping Ace and Lotus? Yeah, what is keeping Ace and Lotus? Why, why did they want to go see something, just the two of them, like... Clover, <laughs> I guess you're the first one back. Where's everybody else? What happened? Where are Ace and Lotus? Hmm? Oh, uh, Ace said he wanted to show Lotus something, so they went into that hallway. Oh, then they went over there? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. So where are June, Santa, and Seven? Why aren't they with you? You really want to know? <sighs> yeah. Okay, sure. Here, let me show you. Huh? Bracelets. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, holy shit. No. No, 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 no way. No way. This, this has got to be some kind of joke. This... This can't be real. Huh. Three. Seven. Oh. Six. Lastly, let us discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, but why? Revenge for my brother. He was forced into door three and murdered. You need at least three people to open a door. Who were the two that opened that door with him? It could only have been Santa and Seven. That's why I killed them. Why? Why did you kill June? Because she tried to protect them. She was in my way. She had to die, too. No. 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 No! Hey, Junpei. <sighs> Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's leave this ship. What the hell are you talking about? To... to open a numbered door, you... Yes, I know. You need at least three people. But as long as we have this... That's... the Zero Bracelet. Mm -hmm. You've got, You've got something, something in your pocket. In your what, what is it? Oh, this? Uh, um... this is... See? You get it now? If we have the Zero Bracelet, we can leave. You and I can open door 9 with just the two of us. See? Yep. So let's go. <sighs> Come on! Hurry up! <sighs> Junpei? <sighs> Junpei? <sighs> Clover... Yeah? gentlemen was the axe ending the first bad end i ever got and so i figured we would start that way off again um it does say bad end by the way the word end got cut off by my face on the playback you've reached one ending this game is multiple endings yep you need to play the game multiple times you can replay rooms and all that stuff um I mean, rather than playing the whole game again, I suppose I could have just played through all the rooms again, but whatever. Um, so, 
Let's look at this little baby. This is the flow chart. This shows us how to get to um, all of the endings. So I told you that there are six endings in all. Um, the true end, there's one ending called the, um, oh god, what's it called? Uh, the safe ending, um, which is basically the true ending, but it cuts off early. Um, so we're not going to do that one because it's just going to be repetitive and we'll get credit for it once we do the true ending anyway. So the axe ending is the first one here. So this basically shows you where stuff goes and, you know, what kind of stuff, what kind of choices you can make and what sort of stuff we did. So like this is room four, room five, this is room, you know, three, seven, eight, and then room you know, one, two, six, whatever, and then different endings depending on what you choose. So I have it planned out, so we're going to hit them all, but that was our first oh. ending. Um, it's going to start the game again over, uh, start the game over again automatically, which we do not need. What? Ow! Uh, what? Whoa! Ow, God damn it! Ah! What Actually, the hell? There we go. No. We want, um... A bed? We can do, uh, not all skip. Where am I? I don't think it's all skip, is it? Wait, it, it, it stopped? Five. I think there's an option to skip all what you've seen. I'll have to look it up to make sure if that's the thing or not. But we can quickly skip through stuff we've already seen so we don't have to go through the dialogue that we've already seen. So we're just going to go through all this and then when I get a chance to save, we'll save. In the next stream, we'll pick it back up. We do have to go through the, the rooms again, but this room is very simple and quick. tonight thank you so much for hanging out with me i'm sure that uh, maybe tomorrow we'll do some more i don't know we'll see what uh we feel like getting up to but thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope that you're enjoying it so far and uh i will see you guys very soon thank you so much for hanging out have a lovely evening <laughs>